Aloha guys, welcome to Palette. Today we are making one of my favorite Hawaiian meals, Loco Moco. Let's first start with the rice since it will stay warm in the cooker. I'm taking two scoops of rice into a bowl. Make sure you wash your rice to remove a lot of that starch. It'll look cloudy and continue to wash and drain until it runs clear. Add your washed rice into the insert of your rice cooker. And we're gonna add more water here. The way I measure the water level is by using the finger method. <laughs> that basically means you wanna dip your index finger into the water until it barely touches the rice. If the water reaches the first crease of your finger, you are good to go. Okay, we're plugging in the rice right now. Savannah is helping with the switch. All right, and now it's cooking time. Closing the lid, and now we can move on to our next task. First, we want to whisk an egg before we add it to our patty mixture. I've seen a chef do this before. We know that an egg serves as a binder, but mixing an egg beforehand helps incorporate into the mixture easier and more evenly. For our second step, we want to cube two slices of white sandwich bread without the edges and add to a bowl. You want to add just enough water to the bowl so the bread absorbs it, so don't add too much water. And you want to arrive at a applesauce consistency. Next, you want to chop in half a medium-sized sweet onion. One half of it you will dice. And this is for the burger patty mixture. The other half you want to slice, which will be for the saute with the shiitake mushrooms. All right, now we're ready to combine all the ingredients to the ground beef. That was the egg, the onion, our breading, garlic salt for aroma and great flavor, and some freshly ground black pepper. And we don our gloves and go right in. As you'll notice, our mixture is starting to take shape. It should look something like this. And right now we're going to cover it with plastic wrap, set it in the fridge while we work on our gravy. Our gravy making involves a roux, which is basically to help thicken up our gravy. In this case, our roux is equal parts unsalted butter and all-purpose flour. Now that the butter has melted, I've actually lowered the flame a little bit. It was getting too hot, even removing the pan itself directly from the flame. As I mentioned before, that's equal parts butter and flour. And I used a serving spoon for this purpose. We just continue to whisk and whisk. And that's what the whole process is basically bunch of whisking for our roux. Had to take a real quick pause. Savannah woke up from her nap and here we are. Again, whisking and it should look something like this. We're gonna add some beef stock now. We're pouring in a little bit at a time so we can check for consistency. Right, and that's the last of the stock we're gonna add. Now we add our other components. That was a little bit of red wine just to give added flavor. And to brown it up a little bit, we use brown and seasoning sauce. And that does the browning real good, doesn't it? Now we add a touch of salt, a few grinds of black pepper, 
And the consistency you want here is that you want the back of the spoon to be evenly coated, just like that. And so we're good to go. All right, guys, let's cook off the remainder of our elements. We will be multitasking. This is saucepan number one. Patties are being seasoned right now. Be sure that your pan and oil are hot. Should be medium to medium high heat. Bring it over the oil and shiitake mushrooms as well as the onion slices. We'll be starting that saute shortly. All right, guys, let's turn on the heat for saucepan number two. We're gonna get that butter melted down, add a little bit of oil, getting that ready for our shiitake mushrooms and our onions to saute, leaving those mushrooms in that pan for at least two minutes. Watch it closely. If it needs more oil, add more oil. Cooking is pretty simple, guys. Just Get in the kitchen more often and cook different dishes and you'll gain more confidence every single time. Okay, we're probing our patties. They look about done. Remember to kill off any potentially harmful bacteria you want to reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And those look just about ready. I'm gonna grab a plate. I'm gonna plate that and start the second batch. I won't show the entire second batch process. We're really just focusing on the rest of that saute and the last bit, which is to prepare our egg. All right guys, we fast forward a little bit and there's some seasoning action going on right now on our patties and of course on our saute. We're going to flip these here. We're gonna do a little switcheroo. Bring those patties to the back and our saute to the front. And those look just nice after that little toss. Now we prepare pan number three for our sunny side egg, which seems to be the popular choice for a loco moco. I personally prefer a fried egg, but we will go with the popular version. All right guys, we're all done. Now it's time to assemble our loco moco. All right guys, there's our beautiful loco moco. Hopefully you tried this Hawaiian favorite. Please, if you haven't done so already, like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. We come out with a video every week. We will see you next time. Take care.